Cezanne just released their Cool Weather collection, and so for today's video, I wanted to share with you my top 20 favorites that are on sale right now. I'm really focusing on comfortable knit trousers and beautiful oversized coats and just amazing soft fabrics, and then some really beautiful warm colors as well that I think might surprise some of you who've been here for a long time. So thank you to Cezanne for collaborating with me today once again and being the sponsor of today's video. I know that these try on and review videos seem to be everyone's favorite. I get so many requests for them. So I'm excited to bring you a new one today again. And I linked everything down in the description of the video as well as in the first comment. So with that, let's get on with the pieces. Piece number one of 20 <laughs> is the Joe coat. This again, as a color, might surprise some of you that I got it but this is a color that I'm embracing and it's something that I feel starts as a red and then they've softened it with notes of obviously white but also purple. And then since it's a tartan, then they've got this plaid sort of vertically running and they've used orange for that. And it's just making the whole thing a bit more vintage. What I love about Cezanne is that they got their start, uh, the founder did, by selling vintage clothes like on different platforms where you sell secondhand things. And so she really discovered this love for vintage items. And that really comes through with everything. I just think that this is no exception. It feels like something that you would find secondhand and it would just be like the most amazing find. Um, and so the way that I like to wear it is to celebrate the fact that it's oversized and that it's a relaxed fit. And so I'm wearing more contoured pieces underneath that show a bit of skin. And then this just feels like something very intentional. It's not like all oversized, all loose. It's actually quite lived in and just something you threw on and can just wrap yourself in like a blanket. The pants that I styled under it were these Matthew trousers and this is in navy. So this is an extra small. I got a size two in the coat and this is a little bit more simple than some others I'll show you later but this has no pleats in the front really. It just has a crease down the front and that is lovely. It makes it feel more dressed up but it feels like a sweatpant. And these are merino wool, which is so elegant and it just is something that is really great as far as all of the knits are concerned. If you can find a merino wool, then it's going to preserve itself. It's not something that you have to go and wash all the time because it doesn't absorb any odors. And it also is just something that I feel is more cool on the skin compared to some other wools. So I could go on and on, but what's great about a knit trouser is just its drape. I feel like because of the weight of it, it is slimming because it's just sort of curving around yourself and then just draping and flowing with all of your beautiful curves. So this is an excellent piece and I'm basically collecting knit trousers at this point. <laughs> Next is the Sacha coat. This is in khaki and it's technically a pea coat. The way that it's designed and as well as the color reminds me of something in an old World War II movie where I just like grabbed my soldier's coat. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. And what I like about it too is that the collar here is so wide that when you pop the collar it just seems to have even more of this like really cool girl feature to it and yet it's so sophisticated. So it's not something that's super wide on the side but it's just very narrow and tall looking. Um, I love the pockets on here as well. There's two different kinds. So you've got the big ones on the side but you also have these that are a little bit closer to the chest and that just makes it feel like you can just keep your hands warm and just, you know, it just is really good posture. <laughs> and I feel like pockets lend themselves to styling just as as much as anything else. Um, so you can really work with all of that there. And obviously you don't really need a purse with this look. It's something that you can just have everything in your pockets. A little note about during, it was like the Great Depression and then moving into World War II, there was a lack of leather. And so they used oversized pockets a lot more. And that's what Coco Chanel did um, and just sort of paved the way for women to wear these big pockets. So it kind of feels like that as well to me. <laughs> so with that coat, I also wore a few pieces from Cezanne, including a turtleneck and the pants that I'm wearing right now. It's basically the same trousers from before, but in khaki. And then the beanie is actually something from 
their men's line called October. And so if you want to like give somebody a gift, that would be a really great beanie. But if you wanted to pair it with um, the jumper here as a like a two part gift for someone like your sister or someone, then you definitely could do that as well. It wouldn't be a Bethany Leonardo video with Cezanne if I didn't show a Will jacket. I love them, I collect them, and even I've sold some secondhand where they've got the label inside for like a list of owners and I've been able to put my name and they, they can put their name afterward and it's just like a whole thing. So wheel jackets are excellent because they are so timeless. I love the close fit feel of it. It's different. It's a different look than any of the more oversized go like coats and jackets. So this jacket is something where you could wear it on a fall day or you could layer with it and make it even warmer. This is in the print October Roses and I love that so much. Um, because it is something that's quite spring-like, but yet they've toned it into these um, more fall colors with these like really more olive um, autumnal browns and just even the flowers themselves feel like something I would have gotten in my bouquet here locally. They always get like weekly bouquets. Um, so this just is very sentimental to me for those reasons. But what's really cool is that underneath they've got navy. And so what I like to do is always pull up the sleeves on them because it exposes that lining underneath and it's just a really cool look. It kind of looks like a rock star look to me. And there's ways that you can style this to where you feel comfortable. For me, I've been sort of playing with this idea of adding beanies to things and really cool hats. So you'll see that quite a bit today. Um, but I just thought that I wanted to embrace the navy tones in this. And this is again one of those pieces that you can match with anything because there's so many colors in it. It just sort of lives on its own and you can pick which color you want to style it with that day. And so yeah, I went with navy for this and I just think that it's so great to be able to use navy because it's one of those colors that doesn't get a lot of prime time in your closet. So. Next is this Rihanna shirt. You can wear it just as a shirt on its own, but it's also so great to be able to layer with. So it really depends on your weather and what you're doing that day. This is actually a bit nostalgic to me because when I was growing up, I always had this corduroy jacket that was a little bit more like a pea coat, and I just loved it so much. I wore it every day to the point where my mom was like, okay, Bethany, like, it's looking a little dingy, you gotta <laughs> wear something else, but it just felt so nostalgic to me and I just felt so confident in it growing up. And so to see something like this, just like, it's a memory piece, like a core memory. And I also like it because it's got these snap buttons. I like the little tortoise shell that sort of happens here. And it's definitely one of those classic pieces that will never go out of style. And it really depends how you want to style it. You can put the sleeves up. There's like so many endless possibilities or you could just keep the whole thing closed and have that look as well. So that last outfit was great and all, but it would be wonderful if we could just cloak the whole thing in leopard. <laughs> And that's what I'm doing today. I love this coat so much. Like it's one of those pieces where I've been utilizing so many neutral coats that adding something like this into the mix just feels so right because it still has those neutral tones to it, but with the pattern, it just makes it into something else entirely. What I found so interesting about just finding the ways that I could style this is that I can make it into something that's very like feminine and just go way into the feminine realm or I could make it a little bit more sporty and street. And so there's really no excuse not to have one of these because there's just endless possibilities on how you style it. Um, I thought it was really interesting to just wear it with something that was all like ivory tones because it's not like stark white and yet it's not something where it's just super boring or anything. Like there's just so much class to it to be able to do that. And I also think it's great whenever you can add in more and more layers to a look because it's just going to make it look like you have more style and there's more layers to work with. You're gonna feel warmer, but also not ever too warm because you can take something off, so. That's my little pro tip. <laughs> when I first saw this cardigan, I knew it was exactly the color that I was trying to reach for in my wardrobe now more than ever. It's like a red, but it's a little bit more on the soft rose, more maroon side. And so that was lovely. But also the fact that it's a wool blended with alpaca always makes me happy. Anytime I can find alpaca, it's a good thing. Um, not only is it a little bit friendlier on the earth, but it also is so incredibly cozy and lightweight. So if you want some something that isn't like super like heavy 
uh, and I, everything. I just feel like this is going to elevate that feeling a little bit. It'll just kind of sit on you more than like feel like it's too heavy or whatever. Um, so it depends kind of what you're looking for. But what I liked about it is that it could be styled on its own. So some cardigans can, and this one definitely can. And I feel like it's almost designed to. I think that just, I would want to put a little like cami underneath, like a silk cami, and that would feel so perfect. Um, and I like to be able to just mess with the sleeves too. I like the look when they are completely down as well as cinched up. Both looks are great. And I also like to just play with what I want to style it underneath. And I think it looks really good with like white trousers. And so for the trousers, I wanted to use these Lulu ones. They're just like the ones before, only these do have pleats. And that's going to create a little bit more drama there. It depends which one you really feel suits your body style. Um, but I think that this just adds a little bit more to it since it is just a white trouser. So that looks lovely and it just really blends well with that cardigan as well. This one is not new, but it's my zig jacket and it's a beautiful leather jacket, one that everyone should own because I feel like it's just that standard perfect like biker jacket. I also think in the back it has a unique feature that other leather jackets I've tried don't have, which is like this little vest pleat here. And I just feel like it adds to the drama there. Um, and so had to include this one. And I think that if you could find this one in also the like brown suede, I use that to style with quite a bit as well. To style that zig jacket, I'm using this baby alpaca beanie. Like you could just feel it and you know it's alpaca. Like that's how recognizable this is. Um, as a wool and so yeah, I just think that you should definitely check this out as far as gifting or for yourself or anything like that and I also just think that it has the perfect fit because when you're styling it I feel like some beanies are hit or miss and this one just feels right. The name of this one is particularly special to me. It's the Leo coat and it's in rosewood and I love putting this on and just styling with it and just I just want to go on so many like fall and winter walks in it. Like it's just the most perfect thing. I love collars that just make me feel cooler than I am. <laughs> and this one definitely does. I like to be able to style it open, but even when it's closed like this, it just reminds me of like Mary Tyler Moore to me. I just feel very like this is, I don't know, I'm nostalgic about this one as well. But another really great thing, if you know what I'm talking about with pockets, it is so better, like so much better to be able to have a pocket on the side as well as in the front. Because you don't always wanna like open this up or you might have something in there and it's just nice to be able to tuck your hand like right in here. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just get really like really giddy when pockets work to not only make me feel comfortable and work for my life, but also look so good. And just, you get to have a little bit more swagger with it. Next is the Christie jacket in houndstooth. Now this is one of those like really perfect blazers if you're looking for something that's wool and academia and looks like maybe it's been around for 50 years and it just, you found it and it fits you just perfectly. Like that's what this feels like to me. And I also love it because the colors in it um, could match so many things. Like we've talked about with some of the other pieces, when you have a range of colors in it, it allows you to play. And so this has not only these browns, but it also has like this, I'm gonna call it like a khaki a green, as well as an ivy green and something like a really bright pinkish red to it. So all of those are things you can play with, but inside the lining here, it could double as black. Like it's that fine line between navy and black on here. And I think that you could play with either color as far as what you match the rest of your outfit with. If you want a true navy, then this one would definitely work. This blazer is just the way that it's designed to drape is really lovely. Like this one's a lot more drapey than the one that I just showed because this one's not covered in wool. <laughs> so that one has more of the stiff academia feel and this one feels much more like casual almost, but something you could wear up or down. I got the trousers with them as well, but it's just fun to be able to style it with anything. Like you could style it with jeans or with knit trousers <laughs> or anything you wanna do. But the fabric feel, I just, I can't even describe it to you really. It's just incredibly soft. It feels like maybe brushed cotton 
That's just my inclination. Next is this Noah jacket. Now this might seem like just a cardigan, but the way that I think that they're thinking of it as a jacket is that the thickness of it is there. Like this is, it feels like it's a half inch thick almost. And so the way that it's woven too is very tightly woven. I've seen some of their sweaters like this and it's just one of those pieces that you start to see in the more like cooler weather um, pieces, collections, because of how much they want you to feel warm and use their pieces in real life. And so that's what this feels like to me. It's one of those pieces where when November, December gets a little bit mild on some days, this would be enough. And if I had to also like dress it warmer than turtlenecks and um, like thermals could be ways where I'm gonna be perfectly fine with just this as a jacket. Um, so those were kind of my, my thoughts and my assumptions on that. But the leopard print here is just so wonderful again. It's not like you're just wearing a brown cardigan jacket. Like you are wearing something that is so stylish and something that just makes you feel like your style is elevated and something you could style on top of basically anything and it's going to work. Next is this Paolo coat. It's a lot like the Leo as far as the fit, but the color is more standard if that's what you're looking for. And it's basically the way Way that I would consider a pea coat to be. I love the pockets here as well. Um, they don't have the side pocket, these are just standard pockets here. And then the chest pockets I feel like are going to add a lot to the vertical space of a jacket or coat that you really need to make it not look too cumbersome. So pockets are a really big deal as far as their design. Um, and I do like the way that this fabric is constructed. It's like you can see this square weave and then there's a looser knit throughout it um, that's really unique. And so it feels fuzzy, but it also feels warm. Like you're gonna be really warm in this. And so that's lovely. Um, and I also love the tortoise shell or bone inspired um, buttons here. So I think that when I'm working with something that is more in the like vanilla tones, then I'm able to then make these really shine. So the buttons take the emphasis here of when you're looking at it. So yeah. By the way, with that last outfit, I think it's just fun to be able to style white outfits after Labor Day. I just feel kind of like a rebel in that way, but I have full reasoning for it as well. But that's just a side note. Moving on, I wanted to show you this incredible vintage blue coat that's called the gym coat. And I just think that when wearing something that's in these pale blues, I can get by with it with a warmer or olive skin tone because they have antiqued it. It is a vintage blue because there's like a yellow or brown tone to it when you're looking at it. It does look aged and that's a really good thing. So when styling it, I'm also looking to add some contrasting colors of like, um, like reds and browns to it, something that looks like that rose sort of red before. So that's sort of what I'm playing with today. And I think that it's going to be one of those very unexpected pieces. And that's what I'm looking for in my coat collection. This piece was so unique when I saw it. So I believe it's pronounced the Aya jacket. And obviously it's sleeveless. So it's more of a vest piece that you can use to layer with really well. Um, the fit of it is something that made me really want to keep this because it's when you style normally when you put these on they seem to be too boxy and it just doesn't cut right but this one does cut just right and it feel like it has that enough of a give to the fabric to where it's contouring me enough and yet still emphasizing parts of my shoulders and everything like this isn't something that's too wide it's actually quite narrow and elongating and I also just like the fact that they didn't put any buttons or latches on this because it's meant to be one of those pieces that's a style piece. It's not necessarily something that is strictly utilitarian. Like this is something that's supposed to be an accessory. Did you really think there'd only be one wool jacket? <laughs> I had to try this one as well and I am in love with it. So I normally can't get by with pale colors. Like the fact that the blue works for me as well as this pink is because again, here it's aged. It looks like something that has been yellowed over time. Like there's a story to it. So I am all on board for this story. I also wanna point out that the collar on here is removable. So if you just wanna transition this into more of a springtime look next season, then you can. Like this is something that you can use throughout basically 
all of the transitional months and you're going to feel so comfortable in it. Underneath it is lined though, so even if you took the collar off, you'd still feel warm underneath. Um, so that's gonna have that sheepskin under there. But the corduroy here is just a beautiful texture. Like if you want something that has tons of texture, then this one is it. I've showed you plenty of coats so far, but one beautiful shirt here is this one that is perfectly like silky and drapey. And it's in the color Rosewood. I love that name. Like I've, I've mentioned some Rosewood colors here already, but just the idea of it is really beautiful. It's not just like a pink. It's something that is aged again. It has some yellow notes to it, but it is not a coral by any means. It's soft. So that's kind of where it is in real life when I'm looking at it. Um, I also like the fact that the way that it's designed is not like some of the other ones that I love and have purchased that are more like standard button downs, but this one has what I think is called a mandarin collar and then in the back it's got these sleeves that are inward and I believe that's a raglan uh, cut there. So you can have something that just sits very beautifully, like something that you'd see in old Hollywood maybe, to me, it feels like that. Um, and it feels like pajamas. So anytime that I can get by with something that feels like pajamas but looks like I am dressed up for the day is a good thing. And that's really how I want to live the rest of my life. <laughs> and lastly, I have matching trousers with it. I think this is a lovely look if you want the two pieces together because I just feel like these are really standout colors. And so when you're creating a modern a chromatic look with it. It almost feels like a really comfortable jumpsuit or just a set that you could wear. Um, and honestly, this does feel like something that is pajamas, but in a really classy and elegant way. Like there's so many times I've seen people wear these types of outfits with these more oversized coats and it just is such a look. Like it feels so great and the right shoes with it would just make the whole outfit come together. And so I've had so much fun to be able to have these matching pieces. I also had another silk top with um, matching trousers in both white and in caramel. And I can link to those as well. Um, but yeah, I just feel like having these sets are so beautiful and pieces that I think you can still mix and match with plenty of other things in your wardrobe. So those were the pieces that I picked out for what's available from Cezanne right now. Obviously some of them were gifted, but some were pieces that I purchased myself. And I usually purchase more just to be able to find the exact right size. So you can use all of my description text to reference my size guide. So if you know to go up or down from my sizes, then you'll be able to get a reference point for all of that. And with that, I hope this video was helpful. If it is, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that helps me always know that. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.